What's going on YouTube? OCD for EDC here and what I got for your face balls today. We're talking about the ultimate hipster knife, the James Brand Barnes. Now, this is a really cool knife for a lot of reasons. Uh, first off, I want to say a very special thank you to Ian. Ian is a viewer that uh, graciously sent this in for me to take a look at. Uh, and I am super glad that he did because it is such a cool knife. And I have really enjoyed uh, the opportunity to get my hands on this thing. But there is a lot to talk about about this. So uh, let's just get into it real quick. We'll do a couple size comparisons. I'm going to set it this way so it sits on the clip correctly. Now a knife that I feel like is kind of in the same vein as the Barnes is the Benchmade uh, 781, I think, Anthem. Uh, pretty cool knife. And then also the uh, Protec Mordax, uh, Protec Drop, uh, Ferrum Forge, whatever collaboration, the Mordax. Now, you know, this definitely isn't in the price range of these two, uh, but very, very similar, uh, yeah, purpose, I suppose, uh, for the knife. And then, um, yeah, we'll throw this one out there too, uh, just because it's, it's kind of similar. Well, we're going to throw it out here. And this is the Hinderer FireTac. So, frame lock. Uh, this one has a, a blue G10 show side. But there you go. Give you an idea of the size. And for those that aren't in this uh, kind of budget class, here is a Benchmade um, bug out. And you can kind of get an idea of the size of the barns. So... There you go, pretty good size representations there. The James brand, if you're not familiar, is a small, I'm going to call it a hipster company. Uh, definitely a lot of hipster activity going on over there. Uh, and uh, But they do have some beautiful designs. And they've come out with some really, really cool uh, knife designs. Now, because it says James on there, you're going to pay a premium. Uh, for all of the James brand knives, they're, you know, a little bit overpriced, but it's right in line, most of them, not talking about the Barnes, but the rest of their knives, you know, they're very similar to say like Finch knives or, um, oh, what's another one? Um, good Lord, I'm drawing a blank now on, uh, I want to say Quiet Carry, but that's, uh, yeah, yeah kind of like Quiet Carry, I suppose. So the James brand, they are not manufacturing any of these knives themselves. They are a brand company uh, that's coming up with designs and having them made generally overseas. Uh, no different with this one here. Now, it's going to be hard to see. Well, maybe not on this black. So this is a full uh, grade 5 titanium. Uh, this is black DLC coated. And like I said, this was made by Riot. Uh, and this is an integral design which most of you probably already know that but the texturing on this titanium is fantastic uh, it's a fairly aggressive uh, texture but it's done small enough that it makes fantastic um, and it just feels really good in hand you can see here that the chamfering and rounding on all of these corners and edges is just it's really fantastic there is contouring to the handle, so you do have a little bit of curvature here. And then the rest of the, the edges, I mean, they can't be any more rounded off than what they are. And it just gives this thing a super premium feel. Uh, you have this swedge on either sides of the spine of the blade here, which are really fantastic. And then you've got dual thumb studs. And so you have the integral titanium handle uh, Bowler M390 blade steel, dual thumb studs, riding on bearings, milled titanium clip. Comes with, I'm pretty sure it comes with the lanyard on it, uh, but uh, obviously you could remove that. And the action is fantastic. It's just a great knife. It really is. I really, really enjoy the design a lot. Um, real quick here, we'll give you a few uh, measurements on this old guy. Let me get, so just under a 3.4 inch blade, uh, handle length, and 
yeah just under four and a half inches on the handle length and then the handle width just under a half of an inch so pretty standard you know pretty just a good edc size let's get a weight on this guy real quick so we're just a little under a three and a half inch blade 4.73 ounces which is not bad for an integral uh, and so you know i feel like the weight in this case here it, it is a little bit on the heavy side but honestly i feel like that just uh it just makes it feel solid in the hand and when you grab a hold of this you just know that it's a premium product just by the way it looks and the way it feels uh, you know anyone that i've handed this to that's not into pocket knives uh everybody knows that this knife is expensive the minute that they touch it you can just tell that it's a premium product feels extremely solid in hand and it looks the part so <clears throat> that's really cool the design here is really fantastic. It works extremely well, super comfortable ergonomics. You know, it's just a very, uh, very plain Jane kind of handle, but it works and it works extremely well. Um, the only thing that I wish ergonomically that they would have done a little different is give a forward choil here because it is a little bit small in my hands, but I think, you know, for 99% of people out there, it's gonna be really, really good in hand. And, and it's good in my hand as well. It's just a little on the small side. So when I'm, you know, back where you're going to be gripped, my pinky doesn't really have much to grab a hold of. So if I had an area where I could choke up on it and do it in this grip here, that would really be fantastic. But that being said, I understand, you know, the size, uh, you know, they didn't make this for me. They made it to sell a bunch of them. And so I think they did the right thing action on this is really really great uh you can't really ask for much more than what this thing is is offering the design the way everything flows together you can see here one of the coolest things you know i really love uh, the mechanical aspect of knives and one of the things that i want to show you here because it's just so cool the way this pocket clip uh is part of the frame so you've got a screw down in here that holds the pocket clip in and I'm not going to disassemble the whole knife but I am going to take out this pocket clip real quick and just show you so this thing has one long screw that holds the clip in place just like that and here is the pocket clip you can see it's numbered on the bottom side and the way that it interfaces uh, the knife is also numbered right there, 225, along with the clip, 225, which is super cool. And they just, it was really, really well thought out. This works awesome. I really like the way that they did the lanyard here. <clears throat> I'm not a lanyard fan at all, but the way they protect uh, that portion of the lanyard in there is really great. Um, you know, it's a small detail that could have very easily been overlooked, but it wasn't. And that part is fantastic. Uh, the pocket clip functions well in and out of the pocket is really, really good. And you've got the James brand logo there. It's just a really fantastic piece. <clears throat> they also uh, put a smooth patch there where the pocket clip lands on. So you're not tearing up your pants, uh, which is just really awesome. And I can appreciate all of these details and, and uh, you know, it's the small details that make a knife like this uh, fantastic. And they did a very, very good job on those small details. So <clears throat> you guys know, you know, Riot, of course, does a really good work. Um, I'm going to have to get this where I can see it to get this clip back in. All right. So I got that screw started there, but let me go ahead and tighten it up. And like I said, it's the design here is just really, really well done. So there you go. Pocket clip is reinstalled and you can see that uh, screw down in there. Now, again, this is an integral for those that don't know. 
That means that the handle is milled out of one solid chunk of titanium instead of being like a sandwich and having two flat slabs with a backspacer and or standoffs. Uh, this is all one piece, which is, you know, kind of showing off a little bit on the machining. You can see here that you have this triangular shaped piece. Uh, that's to give you space to get the bearings and the pivot and everything through. Uh, so you can take the pivot out remove the bearings, clean them, all that sort of thing, and put them back together. Um, like I said, this isn't my knife, so I'm not going to completely disassemble it. Uh, but you can see here, fit and finish on this thing is spectacular. It's perfectly centered. They used every bit of that handle that they had available on the blade. I like how uh, much of the blade is inside the handle. You can just see a small portion of it and the detent is dialed in to perfection. So when it comes to the barns, the elephant in the room on this guy is the price. The price on this knife, like I said, it's Bowler M390, grade five, 6AL4V tie, made by Riot. The quality's there, the design is there, all of that's wonderful, uh, but this thing is $600, $599. Now you can find it uh, from a few different retailers. I've seen it, you know, 10% off. So you're getting it for, you know, $540. Um, but man, it, that, that's just a lot of money. Uh, it's, yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow. Uh, you know, to me, and, and I'm not saying that it's not worth that kind of money. It, it's beautifully made. It, it absolutely is. Um, but $600 is just a, a hard pill to swallow. And uh, yeah, I'm, you know, the, the Benchmade Anthem. Uh, now, I know that they're selling for, for big money, but I mean, this was less than 600 when it was new. If I remember correctly, I want to say these were like right at 500 and, you know, we're talking a very similar knife, honestly, um, but it's American made. And, you know, we've got 20 CV blade steel. Yes, it's an axis lock, but we're still, you know, titanium, uh, integral, American made. Both have a deep carry clip. Um, yeah, at $600, the Barnes is a hard pill to swallow. Um, I love it. And I really love the design. I think it's a good looking knife as well. I mean, it's just a very classy look. It feels fantastic in hand. I mean, I, honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this knife. It's, it's comfortable. The action's great. Just the price. Um, and I know, you know, I'm not the first one to say that, but I mean, that's really the only sticking point for me for that kind of money. Uh, the Benchmade Anthem is a better buy and certainly is going to hold its value better that's for sure uh, you also get a reversible clip here and because it is an axis lock it's a true uh you know ambidextrous experience uh you know and some people may not like that the fact that it's got holes on the front uh, doesn't really bother me but i'm also left-handed so i like to see uh, when companies do uh, true ambidextrous knives but back to the barns, um, man, the the price is just, it, it's hard to get over. Um, so anyway, uh, that's my take on the James Brand Barnes. It's just an absolutely beautiful knife. I really, really enjoy it. Uh, but for me, it's just too expensive. I just can't justify spending that much money on this knife, uh, especially for an overseas made and you know certainly there is a bunch of uh riot made knives that are commanding you know high prices that's for sure but this is the highest one that i know of for just a you know especially for a small brand like james brand um yeah they're definitely uh up there i don't know how they've been selling i mean you can certainly find these they're in stock in a lot of places so uh, they certainly haven't sold out um but you know if they're selling them more power to them um you know i hope it does well for them it's you know i my fear is though at that kind of price point you're really going to have to get this in people's hands to for people to really understand what you're buying for 600 bucks 
but you know in my world a six hundred dollar pocket knife is just uh that's it, it better be absolute perfection um and and this is i mean it's not that this isn't absolute perfection but uh yeah yeah i don't know 600 is just a just a hard pill to swallow so anyway guys that's my take on the james brand barnes hopefully you enjoyed that and uh yeah we'll talk to you next time thanks so much ian for letting me take a look at this i greatly enjoyed it it's uh it's a super cool knife man thanks have a good one i'm going hey.